You're on the verge of killing yourself. Your life has turned into an absolute shit show. And I'm probably not even scratching the surface of just exactly how bad it is for you at this moment. I'm not here to talk you out of anything. I'm not here to talk you into anything. I just want to make sure that you've got all the detail, all the facts before you make a final decision. Our society has misled you, it has misled all of us. It starts with kids, how it goes with, as a kid, you're observing something, you're excited about it, you've, you're inspired. You've got this heartfelt idea you want to do something, what you've just seen, what you're inspired about. And where kids used to take action and where they used to dream and they would become more inspired, these days what happens is that the moment that a child starts to take action, then it becomes a problem. Then it's, if you can't be like the other kids there, if you can't sit still and be quiet, then you need to be medicated. You're not acting like everybody else. And so what happens is people go into life and they struggle and they try to figure out how to solve their problems in life. And as, as you know all too well, is that at some point you just don't know what to do anymore. And it's not your fault, but you do have control and you can take that control back. What I've just described for you is what I call the natural thought process. And it's one of 24 life tools that have been hidden from view. They're available for every human being. I'll just run through quick how that goes again and how it applies to where you're at right now. Because the natural thought process works in both directions, negative and positive. And the reason for that is because the universe is always on your side. You're the boss. When you decide that you want to kill yourself, the universe helps you. Whatever you've got in your heart, it helps you to come up with the actions that you need. When you want to live and thrive in life, the universe gives you the actions that you need based on what you have in your heart. And here's how that process starts. Here's how you can reverse it. And here's how you can have full control over it. Everything starts with observation. So for example, there was something, that last spark of hope that you had, you had um, caused you to, to find your way to, find, to watch this video. If this has inspired you in any way at all, then what, what's happened, so you've gone from an observation to an inspiration, to a heartfelt idea. And it may just be a very small, very weak, heartfelt idea. But what happens is that the universe provides you with an action thought. So maybe, for example, that you want to know, know more about the life tools and what exactly are you missing there? What is it that you used to know that's been hidden or been taken away? As you observe more new things, more positive things, you observe old things in new ways, then what happens is that you become more inspired. Now, it doesn't matter if you're shy, it doesn't matter if you don't have confidence. That's very natural because the universe keeps everything in balance. So when you have no confidence and you have no inspiration, they go hand in hand. But as you observe, as your inspiration increases, your confidence increases. The universe will never give you more confidence than you have inspiration, and you'll never have more inspiration than you have confidence. So you're not looking for somebody to rescue you. You're not looking for somebody to talk you into or out of anything. You're fully in control of your own life. And if you're looking for permission for, from somebody else that you actually have control of your life, take this as the permission. You have full control over your life. And as you make your choice about what you're doing, I've got a question that you might be able to help me with, is you're not alone. There's so many people that have the same problem and most of the society has the same problem that they don't understand what they knew as kids. So how can we spread this? How can we help more people to discover their spirit before 
they wipe out that last spark of hope that they had. You can find more about this on my website at johnverway.com. There's YouTube videos, one in particular that's about an hour long that goes into great detail about the natural thought process, how it deals with relationships, work, lost jobs, anything, any of the problems that are in life. So you'll find that on the YouTube channel of John Verway 2020. And there's also a 30 point self test that you can take that's on my website, where it's a starting point to sparking your inspiration. I'm looking forward to hearing from you. And I would appreciate any ideas that you have about how we can make this a better world together. Thank you.